next year. Two teams that haven't met each other yet. Of course, Israel unable to play as many games as most others in the group for obvious reasons, of course. But time has come for the two sides to finally meet in Group D of the competition. Germany undefeated so far. But before we get down to it all, it's time for the national anthems. So there we have it, the fans here in Halle getting right behind Antonio Di Salvo's side as they look to keep that unbeaten record in Group D going and have some extra motivation today as well with Group D leaders Poland losing to Bulgaria earlier on so a real chance for Germany as we see that side put together for this evening's game by Antonio Di Salvo Three changes to the team who drew nil-nil with Kosovo just a few days ago. Siebert coming in to replace the injured Kleinebeckel, Atubolu back in goal. And Voltemade starts as part of a front three. Poland still top of the group at the moment. But do have... Uh, two games played or two more games played than Germany Germany will have a game in hand after today's game against Israel and they trail by just two points so a win today will see them go above Poland into a pole position and put them in a really good spot heading into the next round of games there's a look at the Israel side here as well Israel losing 2-1 to Poland just a few days ago. That was a, a very close game, one that they could have easily gotten something from, including their first points of this Group D. Four games played, four defeats to their name so far. Sein Freund und Weltmeister Torschütze von 1990, Andi Bremer, einem Herzstillstand. 
Der Deutsche Fußballbund, die Fußballfamilie, wir alle Moments. verneigen uns vor diesen Legenden des deutschen Fußballs. Seine Legends Persönlichkeit, German Football, auch von neben dem Platz. Der Kaiser, wir werden ihre Gedenken Bauer. wahren, ihre Leistungen ihren und ihren Menschen in unserem Bremen. Herzen tragen. Und ich darf Sie jetzt bitten, mit einem großen Applaus um Anteilnahme und Ihr Zeichen für to see the fans and players here in Halle taking a moment to show their appreciation that those two gentlemen brought to German football and football as a whole as fans back in Bar a name that anyone who knows about football is more than familiar with time to get down to the nitty gritty and the action here now Antonio Di Salvo. I want to see a reaction after what was a disappointing goalless draw against Kosovo. Germany with plenty of opportunities. The Lions share, putting it lightly, of uh, possession throughout that game as well. Just never really found the breakthrough. Of course, Kosovo doing their best to try and make life difficult by pretty much playing with 11 defenders at times. But that is uh, the uh, those are the challenges that this German side will face and continue to face it's up to them to try and find a way past it through it and find the back of the net to get points on the board and secure their place in slovakia next summer of course the teams that finish top of their groups as well as the three best runners up will move on to the summer tournaments a promising start from Germany here. Nick Voltimade, Werder Bremen frontman, making his sixth appearance at under 21 level. And has Germany's first opportunity as well. The ball into him was a good one. Trying to sneak it inside that near post. Puts it just wide. No surprise to see Brian Gruda creating stuff out on that right wing. Such an exciting player, Gruda. It's fair to say we can expect to see him in the senior side in the not so distant future. As Israel's under 21 head coach, Guy Luzon, looks on. Thielmann starting at right back here this early evening. Antomade just sees the ball run away from him. Unable to keep it in play. Israel with a throw in deep inside the German half. And just a reminder of that starting lineup for Germany. Noah Atubolu starting in goal. Back four of Luka Netz. Ariembi, Siebert and Thielmann from left to right. Eric Martel and Rocco Wright, the two holding midfielders. And Nalin Rue, Nick Voltemade and Brian Garuda all supporting Yusufa Makoko up front. Voltemade playing in that number 10 role just behind Makoko. I'm sure we'll see them uh, shift and switch positions here and there. Germany do well to win the corner, take it quickly and short. Here is right to Gruda. Gruda tries to lay it off there. Wasn't a bad idea, could have easily taken the shot on himself though. Certainly had the time and space to do so. That goal is draw against Kosovo. The first game where Germany have dropped points here. Group D.
is uh, Garuda again. And down this right flank, Thielmann is there in support. Garuda tries to go it alone. It's stopped in his tracks there. Very dominant start here by Germany. Coco Marto just shields the ball. Siebert with the ball out wide to Garuda again. Early cross in. Puts it into a good area there, but no one in and around it to go and attack the ball. Germany will have the uh, throw in though. Jamil Siebert alongside RDMB in central defence. So that's injury to uh, Colin Kleinebeckel. Suffered a uh, cruciate ligament injury. And that's a goalless draw against Kosovo a few days ago. Almost everyone here and involved with the under-21 setup, wishing him a speedy recovery. Nasty injury, but he is young. He should hopefully be able to recover as quickly as possible. Free kick for Germany in a promising position here. Reitz and Garuda standing over the ball. Reitz leaves it to Garuda. Brings it in towards that far corner of the goal. A little too close to Niveliasi in goal. Relatively simple catch. The Israel goalkeeper. Lights. to cover a lot of ground. A real old school box to box midfielder. Israel giving themselves a free kick. They put this in position of their own. Right, Adi MB. Guilty party there. His left foot in there. And struggled to create much from open play with Germany dominating possession so far. Uh, the ball situation, perhaps their best ticket into this game. Struggled to really find a foothold so far simply because Germany haven't allowed them to. Voltemada trying to head it away from the. Uh, Germany penalty area. Instead, puts it out for a corner. Clearance nonetheless, though. Nick Voltimada does give you that added security during those sort of situations with his height and aerial presence. There again, trying to attack it at the near post. There's Thielmann. Tries to pick out Reitz. It's intercepted. In the end, by Ainayo Prada. Okay, taken quickly. Koko urging his uh, attacking teammates to press early there. First decent spell of possession this for Israel. Closing down there by Gruda. Tony Salvo say wanted to see his players aggressive without the ball. Aggressive with it. Certainly, it seems like they've listened so far. It's a really aggressive start to the game. Very nearly creating the first goal scoring opportunity right from the kickoff. There's Melin Ruud. 
switch of play to find Gruda. Israel getting bodies back behind the ball now, no. Threads it through to Voltemane. What a save that is by Eliassi. Had to get down and across quickly. Does well to sort of shift it away from danger as well. Well worked chance that from Germany. Lovely ball into Voltimado who does well to get the shot off nice and early. Veliasi in goal. Ready for it. Right, so looking for Mukoko there. Unable to find him though. Let's take another look at this uh, Voltimado chance. Garuda cuts inside and then beautiful ball into Voltimado. Didn't quite control it perfectly on the first touch but just manages to settle it with the second and then nearly picks out that bottom corner beautifully. And credit to Eli Eliassi. Manages to get across and make that save. Best chance of the game so far. Let's the long ball forward. Madmon. Can't find a way past Thielman. Ten minutes gone. Good start from Germany here. And definitely been the better side. Last few minutes though, Israel just starting to settle into it a little better, yet to really pose any threat to the uh, German defence or Atubolo in goal. After being uh, a little caught off guard, with, uh, the pace at which Germany decided to uh, get things going, and that managed to uh, calibrate look a little bit more comfortable now still Germany the team on the front foot looking dangerous every time they come forward there's the senior side in action this evening as well against the Netherlands after that impressive win against France plenty will be looking forward to see how they do Instead of the Netherlands next. A smart play from Merlin Roux. And Siebertz. Martel. Tiamal inside to Voltimade. Brought down by Menachem Miona. Zarura with the tackle, excuse me, number 17. Zarura so gets it across to RMB just in time. Mokoko. So Merlin Röhr tries to shift it over onto his right foot. Did have Lucanets there in support, but it was all just a little too close for comfort. Finds him now. So Röhr again. It's in an early cross. Doesn't get quite enough height on it, though, to get it past the first defender. Back to Voltimada. Just about holds on to it. Thielman looking to line the shot up. Sees his effort blocked. And then 
and out of play by Suf with Gori on it. And all in all, Antonio Di Salvo will be pretty pleased with the way his players have started here. Very mature performance, very confident start. Knocking the ball around nicely. Having their way through again here, rights to Garuda. Germany have their lead. And it's a well-deserved one as well. Great team goal there. There are a number of opportunities for players to take a shot on, but no, they waited until the opportunity was clear cut helping it on from player to player eventually finding Brian Gruda just hammers it hard and low puts it underneath so the, the right armpit there and actually goes uh, through the legs of Neveliasi you can do uh, nothing about that one and Gruda against Germany he deserved a 1-0 lead here. Brian Gruda with his first goal at under-21 level. And his seventh appearance for the side. And the Mainz midfielder. A winger, should I say. Breaking the deadlock here in Halle. Voltamada. Signed to Mukoko. Nice close control from uh, the Dortmund striker. It's nice to just slow things down. Germany will build from the back again. Here is Siebert. Great first touch there from uh, Gruda. Sees Luka Netz in space. A switch of play. That's a good delivery from Luka Netz, but no one there to attack it again. Tomada gifted the ball there on the edge of the penalty area. Rull to Voltamada. And Martel. Martel gets the shot off. Nice to curl one looking for the bottom right corner. Apologizing to his teammates who are perhaps in better positions. Gruda in particular would have preferred the ball to come his way. Gordiano penalised for the aerial challenge on Thielman. See a little bit of frustration from some of the Israel players now as well. Struggling to come to terms with just how much possession Germany are having here. A little caught late there. 
teammates asking the referee. No foul was given quite clearly, stamped on there by Feingold. Even if it was unintentional, certainly a foul. However, Germany will continue. Possession of the ball. Eric Martel able to turn, has his head up looking for options, ships it out wide. Malin Röhl tries to bring Luca Netz into play. Germany will have a corner. There is a one way traffic at the moment. Israel struggling to get out of their own box. They'll get on the ball. Rare occasions where they do find themselves in possession. Seem to give it, a ve give it away very, very quickly. with the delivery the best of clearances a scramble on the edge of the box here Bruda to Mukoko has to bring Martel into play picked up by Gruda again though well shouts for handball there and Tomada and goes down and wins the free kick Germany would have preferred the penalty The luxury of VAR here, though. Quite clearly catches the arm. Is uh, a little unfortunate for Fine Gold, who misjudges the ball. <laughs> Lucky to get away with that one. Still, Germany do have a free kick in a very promising position here, and plenty of players. That can trouble Eliassi in goal from this sort of range. Wouldn't be surprised to see Ryan Garuda try and curl a left footer around the outside of the wall. Right, who has a goal though. Managed to get it up and over the wall, but it just wouldn't dip under the crossbar for him. Not a bad effort though. Borussia Mönchengladbach, midfielder, does have two goals at under 21 level in just three games for Antonio Di Salvo. Today, his fourth appearance. Tomada does well to bulldoze his way through. Will tries to cut it back for Gruda. Just made a diagonal run inside. Solid challenge by C, but nothing wrong with that. Israel, Tabolu taking his time with the long ball forward. Nothing wrong with that challenge. Will be it a heavy one. Gruda, as well to hold on to it. Gruda still going. A little there in support. Gruda puts the brakes on his run. Mukoko is in the middle. It comes his way. Mukoko! Lovely spin and then the half volley attempts. And the number nine does have 12 goals in 12 games for the under 21s. Right, he just caught that with his hand. To be honest with you, with it's ending in a uh, Israel goal kick. And he does it, he's off the defender, and it has been uh, given as a corner. 
Like he came off the arm of Makoko. It's a well worked corner. Oh, tries to send it low. Picked up by Thielman. For a second time. Oh, too much weight on that ball. Well, Eric Martel was a good idea, just like the execution. Well, by RDMB. Continues his run. Gruda unable to visit through to him. Super Makoko there. Does have an incredible record at youth level. Might hit those heights at senior level with Borussia Dortmund. Jamal Siebert just slotted straight in after having to replace Kleinebeckel. Mukoko just to get on the end of it. Still Mukoko. Still Yusuf and Mukoko. The goal that could have been. Perhaps you could argue. Should have perhaps uh, maybe gotten the shot off a little earlier. That's right. Uh, Voltemada. Touch there by Thielman. There's the tackle to be made. Seabats good upper body strength. Uh, win the ball back for Germany. And just continue to pile on the pressure. Wave after wave of attack here. Seventy percent of the possession here. Eight shots, three of those on target so far. Just goes to show the team on top is go to their name as well as a reward for their efforts so far. Could have easily had uh, a second on numerous occasions. And yet to see Israel. Really threatened Noah Atubolo. Right. 
plenty of positives for them to take from their performance against Poland, who do top table in uh, Group D. Losing that game 2-1, but it gave Poland a run for their money at times. Haven't quite hit those heights here against uh, Germany, but I have to say it's because Antonio de Salvo's side simply haven't allowed them to. Tomada able to turn. Is it off to Nets? His shot's blocked. Almost half an hour gone here in Halle. playing that one just slightly ahead of Rue. Israel looking to break. Missing a run through the middle. And the manager Miona does eventually win the free kick as well. Tillman picking up a yellow card for his troubles there. It's a good solo run. Israel's number eight. It's very much one of their... Uh, creators in the middle of the park from that angle it looks like Tillman actually plays the ball but might have just had a, a pull back on uh, Menachem Yona before making that tackle didn't seem to uh, have too many complaints about the decision there to kind of find the final ball that is clearance only as far as Siebert nice close control from the big man trying to keep going but runs into trouble in the end back uh, by Rocco Wrights. It is a fantastic name, Rocco Wrights. And some must have known his name would be in lights at some stage. Looks like he has a, a bright future in the game. Borussia Mönchengladbach man. Slowly but surely becoming a regular in this central midfield position under Antonio Di Salvo. Coco caught there by Hada Fuchs. side position Envy missing the ball there with the attempt at a clearance Teammates are there to uh, help out, pick up the pieces. And that's then uh, the uh, free kick with the foul. situation here for the visitors looking delivery 
Marvel does well to hug the ball away. And Germany trying to break quickly. Now Prada with the, the tackle, a mistimed one as well. We'll uh, pick up a yellow card for that, rightfully so. A, a very heavy challenge on Thielmann. He's uh, stayed down here. Is a nasty one as well. Catches him with his studs stretched out there right on the inside of the left ankle. Give us an opportunity to take another look at that Gruda goal. Let's finish the difference between the two sides at the moment. Steelman is back on his feet, even if he's hobbling. Getting stuck in there again. Doesn't need to be careful. He's on a yellow. Oh, all right, it's just having a few words with him. The envy. Strong challenge on Ferrara there. And now Voltimade will break away down the left flank. Melin Röhl, Mukoko and Gruda all bombing forward with him. Played into Röhl, who tries to shift it back across. Will keep the ball in play, though. To right, right, tries to go up. Looking for the top right corner. And again, just like the free kick not too long ago. Just wouldn't dip for it. Not the worst effort in the world. forward gets the ball back from Mukoko Martel in space to his right so to uh, Thielmann to his Ooh, another late 
challenge. This time, Martel Court. That's a mad mod. Just uh, leaves his uh, foot in. And he will be the next player to go into the book. That's a silly tackle to be making, really. Tries to pull out of it, to be fair to him. The uh, momentum just carrying him through. Eric Martel. be aware there. We'll close down quickly. And uh, has to play it back to Artu Bolu. The keeper with a <laughs> real pace though. Luckily was able to use his hands in order to collect it. Walter Marder. Lays it off, Makoko dinks one over the top. Alan Rill trying to get there. It's a misunderstanding between defender and goalkeeper for Israel. And they managed to just about get away with it. Found themselves in a world of trouble for a split second there. Able to recover. to have a shot in this first half let alone one on target see but does well to deal with that low delivery Germany now only at three on five and Gruder pressing along to keep the ball in play and does Coco there in supports. Germany will just slow things down again now as Israel have bodies back behind the ball. I suppose the only criticism you could if Germany is that they haven't scored more than just the one goal. Apart from that, it's been a pretty impressive performance. Antonio De Salvo's side coming into this game as favourites, of course, but it's one thing going in as favourites and then it's another living up to those expectations, which isn't always as easily done. Walter Marta. Trying to bulldoze his way through the middle. Seen him try that a few times. He's technically very gifted for a forward his size. Voltamada. Quick one, two in a very crowded area. I'm not sure anyone else was on the same page. Altamada seemed a little surprised to see the ball come back his way.
Elad Madmont giving away the free kick. Germany happy to get the ball rolling quickly, but giving it away cheaply here. And Goriano. It's a first touch there by Eli Fine goal, but Merlin Rowe closing him down straight away. Physically, it has been a very tough half for Israel. Had to do a, a lot of ball chasing. Down here for Israel, it is Abu Rumi. Just uh, caught in the nether regions there. Painful one for him. Should hopefully be all right to continue. Understandably, will be given time to recover here. Two minutes over, stoppage time added on. That's the right elbow of Eric Martel. That uh, catches poor Mohamed Abarumi. Oh, well, wiped out by <laughs> Eliassi there. Seems to be in a world of pain. So Israel down to uh, 10 at the moment. Goriano just setting off a little too early there. So Abudumi back on the pitch now and able to continue. We'll have a little more than that two minutes due to that injury to him. Down just inside the Israel half. Zarura late with the challenge. Germany with a chance to uh, perhaps double their lead just before the break with uh, one final attack here. Oh, they won't be given the time 
to do that. But they will take a one-goal cushion down the tunnel at the break here in Halle. Ryan Gruder's goal just inside 15 minutes. The difference so far, a really well-worked team goal. Germany absolutely dominating this first half against Israel, but don't quite have as many goals as they might have liked to show for it. However, if they can continue the same form, attitude and approach in the second 45, they should be able to get another three points on the board here in Group D. That second half is just around the corner. Go grab yourself a drink, a snack. Make sure you get back for the second 45 in just a few.
Joe, hello and a warm welcome back for the second half here between Germany and Israel. As both teams looking to qualify for the under-21 European Championships in Slovakia next summer. Israel still looking for their first win in Group D. Looks like they're going to be making two changes here. If not three, it would seem. Looks like Giorno is coming on. Elimelech. As well as Roy Navi. So a triple substitution. Or Guy Luzon's side. Doesn't look like Germany decided to make any changes. Antonio Di Salvo happy with the performance from the 11 that started. Understandably so. Absolutely dominating the first 45 minutes. Brian Gruder breaking the deadlock in the 14th minute of play. Germany had chances to add to just the one goal. I'll look to do just that here in the second 45 in Halle. start in Israel who do finally get their first shot off she's also on target as well simple save for Atubolo though for Germany to end this international break on a high and with a win as well you feel next competitive game until September and they will face Israel again in Israel that time but some sort of a reaction has to be expected especially with uh, plenty of fresh legs out there now as well here is one of them yeah, number nine and he nearly dances his way past a number of German defenders uh, Giorno Idan Toglomati Giorno to be uh, precise Better from Israel, but that's great defending from Luka Netu. Gets out early to make the challenge. Germany giving the ball away just as quickly, though. Garuda, one of the standout performers in the first half, not just because of his goal, but every time the ball came his way on that left wing, or right wing, excuse me, Always look dangerous, always look to create, either by himself or by combining with teammates in and around him. So Bolo picks out Voltamada well. Kept in play by Rocco Wrights. Voltamada again. Inside to Thielman. From Siebert. And Luka Netz powering forward here. As well to his left, tried to perhaps uh, be a little too smart there with the ball. A simple one out wide 
would have probably sufficed. more confident football from uh, the visitors at the start of the second half uh, head down that tunnel at half time very disappointed with just how little of the game they had Spent the majority of it either chasing the ball or watching Germany calmly pass it in and around their own penalty area As Germany do have options on the bench as well of Trisoldi and Knauf probably the go-to when it comes to attacking options against Kastrop and Umut Tohumchu he uh, recently called into the under-21 side for this international break both still waiting for their debut Joshua Kwashi also called in to that injury to Kleinebeckel as backup for Jamal Siebert. It's not a bad ball across the face of goal there. And so Watson's coming on. Takamati Jorno. It's caused all sorts of problems. The danger actually coming uh, from Pogurianu there. 11 the ball in and across early but it's uh, too early for his own teammates Lukanets gets his body in front of the ball there to make sure uh, Adi Menechem Yona get another ball into the middle and Guy Luzon will be much happier a frustrating first half for Israel You need to make sure they don't let them build too much confidence here. They might be in the lead, but 1 0 is a slender lead. And Coco just wanted to bring the ball down. There's Gruda. Does keep in in play. And runs into trouble. Runs it back well. And Coco to Voltemada. Tries to give it back to Mokoko, who just made the. Overlapping behind him. And he will have the corner. Eric Martel. I think it does get something on it, but so too does a uh, Israel defender. Maybe another corner and another chance to swing one into the danger zone. And Brian Gruder on that far side. Knock <laughs> right. A difficult one on the half volley there. to Israel who made it more of, a, more of a contest now in this second half between these two struggled to see a way back into it at half time the way they've started this second half they might have a game on here
challenge on that and real advantage has been played though. Walter Marde has to feed it through. Right, Yusufa Mokoko. Real was on the receiving end of another mistimed tackle. Back in his feet and seems to be moving okay. Tomada keeps picking up the ball in these new pockets of space just inside the opponent's half. Not a bad effort, saved onto the post. But there is Merlin Raul with the follow up. It's a fantastic shot initially by Brian Gruder, I think, who again is involved in Germany scoring. I'm not sure if Eliassi in goal was able to. Could help it onto the post there, whether or not that will go down as a save. There was nothing he could do about the follow-up with Melin Rull reacting first and before any of the Israel defence could. It is Gruder. How was that one in? It's a great save by Eliassi. It's a Merlin Rull aware. First to react gets there. Up with the easy finish, a tap in from close range. And Germany now a 2 0 up. Alan Rowe's second goal for the under 21s. That could be his most important one so far. It looked like Israel were just getting themselves into this game. Certainly throw a spanner in the works. All the visitors. Zorocco writes. Well, making another run. This time down this left side. It's been a, a really solid performance and display from Germany's number eight. And in the world, the Freiburg midfielder. Such a versatile player as well. Voltimada now. Okay, set the ball out from underneath his feet there. Ferrara. Doing it just enough. Why here for Podgoriano? Oh, to get the shot off takes a, a wicked deflection as well. Forcing that to Bolu. Just help it over the crossbar. It's the uh, substitute Roy Navi. Managed to uh, get that long distance effort off in time. Going over anyway, but Atabolu willing to take any chances. Germany deal with the corner. We head towards the hour mark.
the rights of the vision to find Brian Gruder. And the best first touch there. Just allows the tackle to come in and be made. As well, struggling to hold on to it though. Collected header there by Hardy Envy. Fernanda. Kutorianu. One on one with Martel. Just to hold on to it. Fernanda. No nonsense clearance in the end. Merlin Rue. Too many other options available there as well not to concede the corner. As uh, things stand at Germany, we'll go top of uh, Group D with a win here tonight. Take them one point clear of Poland with a game in hand as well. Only Estonia and Israel are the two teams that do still have games in hand on the others in the group. Bulgaria in third after that, a win against Poland earlier today. A win that certainly helped Germany. No chances of finishing top of the pile. And Kosovo in fourth, Estonia in fifth, Israel still bottom without a win. here to Marder says it get away you can see his ambition there to try and get back and win the ball back as quickly as possible as well this goes to show the uh, mentality of this group and how Antonio de Salvo wants them to play what's most impressive is how they really play as a collective as a unit rather than just uh, up to individual talent to get the job done but they don't have uh, plenty of that as well Tomada stay on the side Gets it back across the middle no one there to meet it though picked up by Siebert
towards Luca Nets. Rull. Gouda found himself in a more central position there. Trying to lay it off quickly. Germany just starting to uh, re-establish themselves as the dominant side here. Coco able to turn. Tomada has to try and bring the ball down and finds Merlin Rull who puts his boot through it. It just catches the outside of the boot, which meant it was always travelling away from goal rather than towards that top corner, which is what he was aiming at. Not a bad effort either way though. Second goal really has helped Germany just settle things down again. A bright start to the second half from Israel. Germany now and truly back in control. Yusufa Mokoko very nearly bags Germany a third. Never so well to get the shot off on the spin as well. And he's back to goal initially. It's blocked first time round and then really get the shot off second time round. Still promising play from De Salvo's men. Madmon. Interception by Luca Nets and lovely control. That forward does really well to pick out Makoko. He plays it blindly to his right, hoping that Brian Gouda was there. Instead, he's a defender. He easily had a shot himself there. Super for Makoko. Delivery in towards the near post. John Law with the glancing header, but 
really get enough on the ball to sort of guide it towards goal. Altamada getting stuck in and brought down. So to Merlin Roux shortly thereafter. It will be a yellow card here. And a fine goal. There's the fourth player to go into the book for Israel this evening. Clearly a pull on the shirt and then just as clear and Feingold was doing that, well aware that Germany were breaking forward. More than happy to take one for the team. And Brian Gruder down, seems to have a problem here. Give us a chance to see Germany's second goal again. Gruda played a, a vital role, creating the danger. And then oh, his second goal for the under 21s. Looks like Antonio de Salvo is ready to make a, a double substitution now. Be Ansgar Knauf as well as Nicolo Tresoldi coming on. And Gruda uh, be one of the players coming off, it seems, after picking up that knock as well. Probably the right decision. Certainly has played his part a goal. And uh, then we call an assist as well. Assist, of course, but it was his shot that came flying off the post and then landed at the feet of Merlin Roux. That's all the congratulations he deserves. Voltimad, the other player to make way, replaced by Ansgar Knauf. Really good performance from Nick Voltimad as well. So a lot of the ball was involved in each and every move going forward. And he scored an early goal for Germany as well. That's a really good save from Eliassi. Knauf and Trisoldi, two players that with them um, a whole lot of pace and technical ability as well. Jasoldi will be the more forward player, sort of in support in and around Yusufa Mukoko. Ansgar Knauf would seem as taking up position out on that right wing, so a straight swap in terms of roles. And Brian Gruder. Not a bad cross again. Tobolu deciding not to come out and attack the ball there. Ali Melech, yeah, time substitute the player who got closest to it, but never really close enough. Luka Metz, happy to just let that one across his body and out for a Germany goal kick. Good hold up play by Trisoldi. Trying to take it quickly, but we will be called back.
Hearts. Long ball forward. Chested down by Trisoldi. Mukoko. Still Mukoko. Again, unselfish play from the Dortmund striker. On a number of occasions now where I feel he could have easily gotten a shot off and tried to test the keeper. Asker Knauf did not shortly, uh, or shortly thereafter. Almost uh, to Yusufa Makoko to be a little more selfish at times. Is not something you uh, often say about a, a striker. Makoko. Over the top. His former Dortmund teammate, Asker Knauf. Frankfurt, of course, one of the more experienced players in this under 21 squad. This is his 16th appearance. Eric Martel, and the other player, with 16 after today as well. of heads so Martel's come off a little worse and the Israel number nine painful for both I'm sure Martel's still down and being looked at To his feet now. Looks like he's going to be okay. Looks like he was just caught right cheekbone. Surprised to see Eric Martel come off or want to come off. He's a tough cookie. A FC Cologne midfielder. It's always to have to be careful with head injuries. Martel making his way back out onto the pitch now, though. Looks like he'll be able to shake it off. Trying to extend it on for Ansgar now if it does eventually find the Frankfurt winger. Another bad ball to Hurl. Does have to chase it down a little. So back off to Luka Netz. Ansgar Knauf now. Morocco right. Tries to drive one hard and low but just drags it wide. Looking for his third under 21 international goal. Another change here. Manachem Yona coming off and making way for Alan Binyamin. Germany making some changes as well. Paul Nabel will be coming on, as will Umut Atomju to make his under 21 debut. Hoffenheim player called up for the first time during this international break by Antonio Di Salvo. Well earned call up. <laughs> the players to make way. Like 
the right might be the other. Yep. Paul Nib, Karlsruhe, midfielder, making his third appearance for the under 21s. There by Atubolu. He's come to Nabel. Not sure he was actually uh, going for goal there. I think he was trying to play it back across the middle. There was no one there. Tomshu brought down in the meantime. Ferrada, who is on a yellow. It's a lazy tackle. He's really number six. He's uh, going to line this one up. What a story that could be. On his debut. Been on the pitch for maybe a minute. Certainly more than capable in this sort of range. Gonna have to wait. Well, he's seen something he doesn't like. Eric Martel perhaps a little too close to the wall. Tone chip. Just didn't get quite enough lift on it. Kielman. Takes a little too much lift on his delivery. And that's caught in possession. As Israel tried to break. And Merlin Hull tracking back. And wins the ball back from Germany. <laughs> Spread out wide. Hans Knauf gets the cross in early. And run out of play. Too close for comfort. Half <laughs> closing down straight away. I think Trisaldi was in an offside position, though. So he tried to get back. Already committed himself forward. There's a rock again at the back for Germany. It's hardly put a foot wrong. And been a quite an impressive partnership between him and Siebert. Defenders 
complemented each other very nicely. It's extremely athletic, powerful modern day defenders that are good with the ball at their feet as well. Long gone are the days when central defenders just hoof the ball forward. Castro will come on to make his debut now as well. Nuremberg, midfielder, plays Jan Tilma. Special day for Jens Castro as well as Umatom Chu. Kick there. This all another came though. Can he break in the other direction now that has got Knauf. Has to link up with Trisoldi. Puts away the free kick. Turn to Martel. Turn to has to feed the ball into the feet of Ansgar Knauf with a cutting run inside from the wide position. Turn to again. into the pocket to come and receive the ball. Germany happy to just play keep ball now. Let the clock run down. And towards the 90th minutes. And the MB. Moves the ball forward into the Israel half. ahead of him. He's got the shot off in the end, but puts it straight down the middle as he catch. Ready Asi. Merlin Röhl and uh, Brian Gruder, the two standout performers for Germany. RMB, not too far behind them for his uh, defensive display. Five minutes. 
and it's added on. Germany five minutes away. Their fifth win in six group games. Dropping points just the once a few days ago. Goalless draw with Kosovo. the uh, face of goals there. Kastrop at the back post, felt he was brought down unfairly. It's going to take a lot for a, a penalty, be, penalty to be given there though. I can get the words out of my mouth. There for Martel. Sends Asger Knauf on his way down the right wing. Vesoldi the there in support. Oh, heavy first touch. And now is the tackle to come in and be made. Jordan up. Offside. Technique with the outside of the right boot. A bit of a scuffle. Nothing to write home about. to Nets, now to home two. What's also been impressive is with the number of substitutions made by Antonio Di Salvo. The rhythm of his side's play, the intent behind it, the link-up play, nothing changes. To show how well drilled he has his squad. Everyone knows their role. Even with players like Tuhunchu and Castro and making their debut, they just slot straight in and exactly what to do, where to be. Still to go here. Soldi. Knauf. Early ball across the middle. Will it get to Merlin Rill? Now is the answer. Nudel Yassi reads the situation well. I'll tell you what, if there was a German player in and around the penalty spot, it would probably have been three. And 
there it is the final whistle goes Germany with a clean sheet and a 2 nothing win a fantastic day at the office for Antonio Di Salvo his under 21 side goals from Gruda and Röhl getting the job done job done that sees Germany now go top of Group D with 16 points from six games played one point now ahead of Poland with a game in hand as well so everything on track for qualification for the European Championships in Slovakia in the summer of 2025 and a successful international break for the under 21s who remain undefeated and that look as if they are a team to be taken seriously under Antonio Di Salvo. Another great night of football for the under-21s. And another win for them as well. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us here. We hope you've enjoyed it. And hope to see you back next time when we do it all again. Until then, stay safe and take care.